So, today is the 8th, um, the 8th of what today, um, uh, the 9th probably, yeah, the 9th, um, nice reckoning guys, yeah, I can't remember the months, okay, it's the 9th, Saturday, and uh, we are already preparing to leave, and it's 9 a.m., and uh, Gena calls me, Gena Yeti, and he says, Gera, open your green gates, I came. And I I respond, Gera, I have actually red gates. Come on, come on, open, I passed all the Mozhaiske highway. But Gera, I live in Mitrovske highway. So our poor fellow Gera had mistaken for about 117 kilometers. So we're waiting for him, and then we go. That's a promising beginning, so... Stay with us and stay watching. We are almost ready to go. Gena added some stash to my shop. But I think that we packed everything in really densely. As this is for 10 days. I've showed you the food already and... Uh, Misha is waving his hand and he's seeing us off. Is that okay? Yeah, five over five. Here you can see the Gena Yeti, and his morning was awful, because uh, from Gena's house to mine it's about 50 kilometers, and he passed about uh, 230 kilometers. You know guys, I'm afraid that if we'll give a compass to Gena, our, will, our route will finish somewhere near the Vladivostok. Good morning. I'd like to change my tires, please. We are going to change our tires. No? Come on, don't you have any? <laughs> so guys, here are no suitable tires for Shep. Guys, that's my first time traveling like this. Really. That's really great when you have two extra hands. Especially when they have driver's license. So... Gena is really useful. So am I Yeti or am I useful? So right now I'm in the shop and we have decided to try Yeah, yeah, I can hear you well So we have decided to try what's happening inside the shop when it goes with a speed uh, of 110 kilometers So guys, here we stop near an unknown river on a turnpike road. Look how beauty it is! And you just take your spinning and catch some pike. You know, having your own driver, that's a pleasure, especially when it's not expensive. Because Gana asked me only for 13 cans of food each day. And he will even sleep in his own apartments. That's how it is. 
Live your life to the fullest. We just had an argument. Uh, look, uh, that's not my first time when I'm passing a toll road through the roller chalk, and sometimes I'm considered to be as a driver with a third category license, and sometimes I'm considered to be as a driver of a fourth category license. And we had an argument again, and they say that we are going as a truck with a height uh, more than. 2 meters 60 centimeters and that's the sharp allows to pump and uh, contract the wheels you can just make a difference uh, of about 25 centimeters of height so that might be useful advice for you if you are going on a toll road uh, I hope that was a useful advice. That's Likoshina. It's like a time machine, guys. Look at the houses. They are made of wood and... Oh my god. But here you can see the civilization, actually. <laughs> motorcycle. Motorcycle. We have stopped to have a nosh, and uh, as I promised, here you can see our tin cans, here they are, that's our borscht, that's a soup in Russia. So, now we're gonna eat. Bon appetit everyone. Here we have prepared our food. That's a handmade borscht, as I said, and it took us less than five minutes to boil the water and uh, get the food prepared. Take this Put this on, and you won't get burnt, and your soup won't get cold. That's really comfortable. Bon appetit! Take some mayonnaise, and... Uh, with this water you can actually wash your hands, for example, anything like this, you know. Look what we have found. That's our tractor, and there is another tractor. That's a great one. Look at his protector. It's like a sharp one. But I think the pressure in the wheels is quite low, you know. <laughs> and the muffler is uh, sent right in the driver's face, you know. <laughs> That's terrible. This one was made in a Kharkov uh, tractor's factory, you know. It's like years 40 or like this, I'm not sure. That's how it is, how it looks like. Look at the wheels. The needles are great too. Also look at the steering wheel and the chair, they are amazing, come on. I'm seriously. <laughs> that's a real rarity, man. You know, that's... It's like steel stands here. It was made in 1940s. Oh, that's great. Gena, don't touch the needles. We can see everything. How do you like the petrol station, by the way? 76 benzene. And uh, the distribution point of uh, oil and uh, antifreeze. Real antiques, you know. It's not, not like British petroleum. Here's everything old. We are still in the way. It's already 9 p.m. And guys, the road is totally fucked up. Totally fucked. I don't, don't even know how to describe this. And 70 kilometers we are driving like this. Look, look, look at this. Here this fucking road is dry, that's, that's like, I don't know, the best part of this road, look. Here are no dirt or everything like this, you know, it's quite good here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You know guys, we are already in such places that normal people would never go in. And then we will go to the off-roads. Now what's up? We came to the village where we're gonna stay and uh, soon we will uh, we will go to meet Alexei. Yeah, we are going to meet Alexei. Time to turn. Turn left. Go straight. Okay, I got it. So guys, soon we will meet some people in the meeting points. Tomorrow we will start from there. Here the Alexei Gagashian meets us, the creator of the shop itself, a legendary off-road vehicle. Hi Alexei, you will be the first who our subscribers will see, from our company I mean, that stay here. Okay, we will go. Okay, look, look, I will park the shop here. Over here, I mean. And uh, there you will set a tent, okay? Okay? I'll stay, I'll stay right here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi everyone. It's nice to meet you. My name's Gera. Oh come on guys. I I just I won't remember everyone. We will have to meet up another time tomorrow. No one argue if I film something for my channel. It's like our adventure. Okay guys, uh, I think that's time to say goodbye. I'm sorry, but I really want to sleep at night. So, see you later.